Yesterday, my daughter requested that I make her some Rice Krispie treats, and I had to remind her that she has braces now, and she cannot have anything sticky. So what do we do? Mom's going to decide to make some chocolate Rice Krispie bars, simply just by taking some uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips in a double boiler, or you can melt the chocolate in the microwave. Just go slow when you do it in the microwave. I don't like using the microwave for cooking stuff, so my microwave's just for heating stuff. So we're just gonna let that melt. And mind you, I haven't done this before, making chocolate Rice Krispie bars this way. I've only made Rice Krispie treats the old-fashioned way. So this is gonna be a first. If it comes out, you will be seeing how it's done. This is just a simple, quick dessert. So what I did is start out with two cups of the semi-sweet chocolate chips because I have that on hand. It's going to take a couple minutes for this to melt down. Yes, I understand I can just go to the store and buy her a crispy chocolate bar. However, this is made by mom. Okay, we'll be right back as soon as that's melted down. Okay, so the chocolate is melted. Nice smooth consistency. No lumps. I'm going to remove that from the heat. Push that back. Slide you all over here. All right, so now with the two cups of the chocolate chips, I'll let this cool down just a little bit. Okay, now once that's cooled down just a little bit, we're going to add two cups of the Rice Krispies. And just fold that all together. Mix it all up. This is a nice substitute for people that have braces but want the old-fashioned uh, Rice Krispie treat that's not sticky. I'm just going to add a little bit more chocolate chips to that. So this is going to be about probably two and a half cups. You just want to coat all the rice treat. Let me grab a clean knife. Hold on. Let's get that in there. Again, just continue folding until the cereal is all covered. If you make your melt your chocolate in the microwave, make sure you have a big enough plastic bowl to mix. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm just taking a square brownie pan. I don't know what size that is. Could be an eight by eight. I forget. Anyway, it's lined with wax paper. Pour your mix into the pan and just press down just like the old-fashioned uh, treats with the marshmallow. Pack that all in there nice and firm. So that looks good. I'm just going to be over here licking the batter just for a second. <laughs> Only if you could see off camera. Anyway, the spatula is delicious by the way. So I can only think that that's going to come out good. Again, I never made this. I just <laughs> popped this into my head. We're going to pop this pan in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Let it set. It should be done by the time she gets home from school. See you in a little while. Okay, so I put this... I cheated a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. I put this in the freezer for about 45 minutes just so it was set up. So we're going to lift this right out out of the pan, Just peel off your wax paper, and this is about a half inch thick. Hold on one second while I wash my hands. I'm just going to cut these up in probably about one inch size pieces. Definitely firm. I might have to let this start out a little bit. I'm cutting them up about one inch bites. This is going to break apart. As you can see, let me have a quick taste. Mmm. That's good. So I'm going to finish cutting this up and eating all the little crumbs. Because I can. If you let this sit out a little bit before you cut into it, especially if you put it in the freezer, it's going to be easier to cut. But like I said, I'm impatient on a lot of things. So... That's how I am. It doesn't matter. Okay, so 
as you can see, and let me remind you that I have not made rice treats like this before. Again, this was just an idea my daughter gave me because she requested Rice Krispie treats with the marshmallows and she can't have those because of the braces. So this will be a good alternative for her to have. They are really good. The semi-sweet chocolate chips are good. You can use any kind of chocolate you want. If you want to go and buy a name brand bar and then melt all those down, you can. But this is what I have on hand. So I figured I'd play around in the kitchen today. Give this one a try. You might like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a like. Thanks.